welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. So in the last one we were exploring K Noir and we found Merwald who was going crazy. As you wish. Due to hearing multiple Can I wait that older set? I don't want to discuss it. Yeah. Um those are both Aloff. Uh <laughs> lost my of thought. Um and then he got paranoid. Uh, one of his personalities got paranoid that we were going to betray the people, her people, and so she uh, attacked us, and we won. So we have stairs there. We also had stairs we never went up over here. So let's check those out. Um, I'm glad it reminded me or I would have probably forgotten for a while. Okay, what do you want to say, Connell? Poor Mayorwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. That may be my fate, too. Did May, but Mayorwald knew his curse, for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these ruins he mentioned. We may find something of use. Okay. Yes. Bit just like your breeches, scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. What was that? Bit too slick your breeches? Yes. Um... I don't get it. I mean, I get... Oh, hi. So many things to talk to. Eva seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. I mean, I get that he was hitting... She was... Eva was hitting on him, but... What can I do for you? You've been acting strange. You can start by explaining what's going on. You okay, man? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. There's, a. Uh, he was out of his mind in a place, stalking the remains of a lunatic. There's no point in speculating now. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. I want to discuss something else. Nope. And now there. That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him. Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know. Years. At least I got that out of it. There's no need to be embarrassed. I won't judge. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and... You did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he'd turned against us and fought for Widewind. Been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. It was right. But hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, well, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. Didn't seem right what Widewind had in store, but if he really was Aethys... He shakes his head. I thought, maybe this whole Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Why didn't you ask me for help? I guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a watcher. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. A watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to know, find out about my brother, I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should be starting with records. It took you 15 years to figure that out? You should be prepared that there may be no record of your brother's death. 
wouldn't be uh, any uh, worse off then, would I? Adair thinks for a moment, his lips twisted to one side. He raises his eyebrows. If there was anything written down about it, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. Spoilers. He wants to go to the records archive. Anybody else want to chat? What is it? I don't have any people want to chat. Let's head back in. Talk to the chair. Of course. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. <laughs> Several of him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... Will you stay? What do I want with the ruin? I've always wanted my own keep, even if it is a little cursed. You feel that same emanation of warmth and energy in the air. Then it is yours, my lord. I cannot begin to tell you how glad that is how good it is to know that the keep is in capable hands once again. I suppose I should mention first that if uh, you mean to travel to Divine Spey for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. The eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Meerwald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before he became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. How do I repair the Barbican? Mayor Wells had decided materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make future repairs, further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. What does being the master of Cade Noir entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining the keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are completed. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep's security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then there are other things. Was there anything else, my lord? What did you mean when you said the keep was cursed? Mabel's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place. For what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed, from the time of our idea and colonists onward. Beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below this master does not tolerate rivals. It seems I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend till they claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cade Noir barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The endless pass. That, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath. 
Think too what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks a dear. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the endless pass. The Ingwithan tyrant, old Adnua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least it has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the, the great statue Adnua constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnua himself. What are the Endless Pass? The Endless Pass of Adnua. This is a name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed. And there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Ingwithan named Adnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless pass, and filled many of the upper tunnels with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure. The promise of Ingwithan relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. But am I not the master of Kainua? Of course you are. The keep would have no other, but the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I I know this is much to take in, but if you would remain, it w if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. I have other questions. Nope. Time to find this queen in the City of Defiance. You must know, this queen you are looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Maidwins, Mick, Winds of Adia haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Odaka. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Mayerwell kept a ledger as it happened, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You can take a look if you wish. Hey, let's see what I can do. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. Know, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your ground from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are his master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your troubles may take you, you can make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. So, we can get this. This is... Should be uh, prestige and security. Normally, as you can see, it takes time to make these repairs, but this one they give you for free. It's kind of a story point that you have to come here and open this up in order to continue on. So, can't do this one. Can't do most of them. The Warden's Lodge is pretty nice. I quite like it. It's fairly fast. This is also really good, um, as is this. So, I'm going to do this one, mainly because the uh, adventures are, are pretty nice. It's also probably the largest increase I can get for one thing, and it also unlocks a few of the other ones that I want to get. I also want to get a prison, so what do I need to do for that one? Dungeons, main keep, yep. So, if I want to rush that, I gotta get this. You can also... So if you have like an adventure or something, it'll show up here. Hirelings, I have to get the barracks first. From the barracks, let's repair this main keep as well. You can, uh, then, you know... Basically what it sounds like, you can hire people. And we have another chat, and I think it's over. <laughs> he will continue to be great at survival, because why not? Okay, so, 
So it's in study. Oh, it increases the act. Wow. So it almost removes the accuracy penalty, which is pretty nice. 3DR against everything. Awesome. Ooh, can't be turned on you. I've never had that be much of a problem. Or it's just even stronger. Let's go ahead and get that for now. Afterwards, I will probably pick up the, uh... It's not actually uh, inaccurate. I confess. I was hoping our meeting with Mayorwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. It appears as I'm one of the gentry now. I did come to Deerwood looking for a new home. There, see? The ship floats yet. This might be good news at the end. Whatever else happens, you've an entire castle to explore. An answer is yet to come in Defiant Spey, if Merwald spoke truth. It will give you a base from which to go searching, at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. So, restore the Eastern Barbathon. Did that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. There is a, um, yes. you must gather your party before venturing forth, and I was trying to show that. It didn't end up working. So the Endless Pass are basically like the longest dungeon, or anything like that, where you just, you have... A long dungeon that progressively gets hard. I haven't finished it in my personal playthrough. I don't know how long it is. I mean, I could look it up, but it does start off. I could probably clear the first level, maybe two, and that would probably be about it right now. Actually, I probably have no chance at the second level. I can actually go in here before we finish the place off, so we should at least peek in. The sour odors of rancid grain and spoiled flute, flute fruit Steady permeate the air. It. Dust and rusted utensils cover the countertop. In case there's anything hidden. Rats skitter among the broken stairs. So this is actually, uh, this is one of my favorite parts except for the moving in between portion of it. Um, though I... I should just be able to run faster now than I was originally going through it. Cobwebs bind the remains of a broken limbic, a cracked mortar and various shattered bottles and vials to the table. The shelves creak under the books. Many of the covers are mottled with mildew. But this is basically the place that I would love to have a quick turn town. You're good to go. So now we can go to the Eastern Barbathon, where we couldn't originally. <coughs> For some reason we decided to split up into two groups of three. And this actually goes straight down to the, uh, the dungeon. And there are quick exits on various levels. I think like three also has a quick exit, which is pretty nice. So we still have several places we haven't looked into. I'm going to come here first, because I think this is where I want to go. It's either, it's one of these two is where I want to go. Oh wow. One day. 18 hours. Um. We'll go here first then. We're not going to go to Define Spay yet. There's, a, like I said, a lot of things to complete. Another person we can recruit. That unfortunately will be replacing Jay Stink, who has been with us. For some time now, Light, flame, and quite sound. successfully. We'll keep to ourselves. Been a great help. Oh hi! Kill it! Garvaru, be on seek. They tried to attack her in the cat. <laughs> Holy crud! Okay. Suddenly, everyone takes a bunch of damage.
I assumed it was Pliga. So maybe it was something else. Orange hits Forest Troll for 20 pierce damage. Yeah. Good job, man. Okay, let's. Spear Speaker to the Restless, defended by Will, I believe. So I think I just make them afraid. I don't know why you always hit so close. I must have him equipped with something I <laughs> So he keeps trying to run into there and it's like, I hear you, why are you walking in? Not really bad, just Margrin's fire casts light in nerfed. dark places. Oh, cred. Uh, we we need a rest. What's the range? Range is ten meters. Why do you keep running into like right up into their faces? I don't know, man. Crazy wizard. As you wish. Gyron's horn. Oh. Another line. I really don't think you want to take me. Keeping quiet. Of course. And here we have Sagani Itma. Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. But we will meet her in the next episode. So I hope you'll join me then. <laughs>